Brock Little is the third generation owner of Little Heating and Air Conditioning. This business has been proudly serving the local area for almost 50 years. Little can repair, replace, or install almost any heat and air source you own. Call 217-742-3332 to have a free estimate prepared. Remember, no job is too big or too little for Little Heating and Air Conditioning. Call Little at 217-742-3332 today. The hometown crowd was ready for this one on Wednesday night. The ninth seeded Vipers found themselves not only in the regional semifinal, but in the lead against the state-ranked West Central Cougars. In the first quarter, the Cougars were out of rhythm. Bad shots and bad passes had them put behind the eight ball. The Vipers were taking advantage of this rare opportunity. Grant Marshall tries his range to keep the run going. Yes, sir! South County fans are loving it, especially this guy. Drew Evans says the buck stops here. Bang! The Cougars can begin to claw back. Cole Howard sends one flying to Cox. Cox clears a path and pops one through. Next time down, Little makes a lot of noise. Watch out, we've got ourselves a close one. Vipers have one last chance to push their lead prior to halftime. Evans gets a finger on it and the Cougars convert. 16 minutes in with 16 minutes to go. South County 29, West Central 24. Everyone in the gym was interested in seeing what Seasting's adjustments were for the second half. Early on, South County shots ran cold and the Cougars get precise with their passes. More to Little, Little to Cox for two. Schumacher, however, keeps South County on top. Cox drives and the score grows closer. Lucas Schumacher dips it in to Smith, Smith to Marshall for a huge bucket. The Vipers still holding on to their lead. Ryan Moore is holding on to some hang time. Wow, let's see that one again. That was a contender for freeze frame of the night, but this one took the cake. Gabe Cox had 15 points on the night. Gabe broke West Central's scoring record held by Mark Cox from 1986. Previous record was 1,763 points. Gabe pushes the mark to 1,766 tonight. Cougars finish the third finally on top. Senior Cole Howard pivots, pops, and makes it. West Central fans are on their feet. Vipers need to foul, but it's too little, too late. Crisis averted for the Cougars. They come back, create some distance, and win this one. Um, there towards the beginning of the game, uh, we started out slow, and we got down 10-point lead there uh, first end of the first quarter. And we were getting a little nervous, but we knew we had to come out and win this game. And uh, you know, we always step up our game whenever we know we're down like that. We know we have to win, or this season will be over for us. And then in the locker room, we just. It wasn't like taking each other's heads off. It was just kind of constructing each other, telling each other what we got to fix and what we got to do, and then we came out and did it. CC came in the locker room and he's like, you know, we're down five. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. We, we can get him in the second half. And um, once like we came out of the second half, we started running, getting our bigs up the floor, and passing it up, and just really moving, get, getting the tempo up. We have to come into the game mentally focused. And that's that's the main part of the game. That's what something we don't we struggle with, and we sometimes mess around in the locker room. We need to be more focused and mentally prepared. The title is yours. You are the leading scorer in West Central history. What does something like that mean to a kid like you? I mean, it's something, like, when I was growing up, I wasn't thinking about that. I wasn't thinking about going to Peoria, but uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. Um, it's not something, like, I was trying to do. It's just something that happens.